All right, so this might be a little bit different video than normal, but I have to show you all what the current situation is and what I have decided to do for the solution. So if you've been watching along, we have a lot of Goodwill boxes, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Goodwill boxes. It is taking up way too much space. We do have some empty spots. We got a spot there. We got two there. Uh, we got some kind of like all over the place, but I have made the decision that I need to open every single box. Now, you all are not gonna have to sit there and watch me open every single box because I think there's probably 50, 60 boxes. It is a ridiculous amount of boxes, but I am gonna open them and then I'm gonna try and organize. And here is why we're gonna open the box. So I just opened in my last video, which would have been probably a week ago, but for me, it was like 20 minutes ago. I just opened 12 boxes and I got all the games in this bin. And each of those shelving units can hold, we got eight and then we can get two more on top. We can get 10, 10 bins on one shelving unit. You know, that's 120 boxes. The boxes were the small ones. So I don't necessarily think I would count that as it's gonna be, you know, if I had 120 boxes and get in 10 bins, it's not gonna work out like that. But I think the plan is I'm gonna start opening all the boxes, try and get them organized on the floor. I don't love that, but I think that's gonna be the best way is get it organized on the floor and then I can put it back on the shelves. So I'm probably gonna have a PlayStation section, an Xbox section, a Nintendo section, several games section. I'm not really sure, but I do think we can take all of this this huge mess of boxes, and I think we can condense it quite a bit. A lot of times this is the way Goodwill ships these. It's just, it's all bubble wrap. It's all bubble wrap. Like sometimes we'll get a box like this size, uh, which is taking up a whole section, and it's one console, five or six games, and maybe two controllers. And that's just way too much space. You know, if we open it up, I'll show you this. Look at this bin. We have seven PS3s in this bin. And then in this bin, it's, I know it's overflowing, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I know there's four Wii's, and then there's an Xbox, a PS3, and a Wii U. What is that? Uh, like, it's like 12, 13 consoles in one bin instead of just one box. So we're gonna pull everything down, start opening them. And then I think the plan is to have one bin for each console game wise. We may just do all cartridge together, I'm not for sure, but we'll have a PS3 bin, an Xbox, Xbox 360, PS2, PS3, PS4, you know, something like that. And I think it'll be a lot easier for me to process. Whenever we need to test consoles, it'll be a lot easier for that as well. We can just say, okay, let's grab 10 PS3s, test them all at once, because you're batching them. You're doing every single thing the exact same. So I'm gonna insert a little bit of a time lapse and then I'll give you an update, tell you how it's going, maybe show you some of the cool things that come up. It's gonna take me hours, especially because I'm trying to reuse quite a bit of the bubble wrap. Actually, hold on, cutting in real quick. So I think I need to do some prep work before we start just opening them. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of get a section uh, in the basement for types of items. So we'll do PlayStation in this section, do Xbox over here, maybe Nintendo over there, and then maybe odds and ends somewhere in here so that whenever I do open a box, I have a place to put it instead of just throwing it all over here and we have a place to go. So I did order 12 new bins, so that should help. Let's start doing that, I guess. So I realized while that was recording that you all are actually seeing the most boring part. You're just seeing me move the boxes and it disappearing. I mean, that's the exciting part for me, but I know a lot of you all are gonna actually want to see like what I'm getting. I'll show you a couple of quick highlights just from the few boxes that I've opened. Then I'm probably gonna move the time-lapse elsewhere. So we got some GameCube games. Those are always nice to see. Bunch of Wii games, that one's decent. Controllers, got a Wii and a GameCube. But this is really cool. So we have a slim PS3 in the box. But that was really cool. I hate that they put tape on it. We'll see if we can actually get that off. Uh, the good thing is they use really crappy tape that comes off pretty easily.
that was exhausting. So, we still have a lot to go, but I'll show you all. The floor is empty. I missed one box, but the floor is empty. Show you all some highlights, some of the cool things. Uh, my office is total disaster now. Uh, yeah, yikes. But uh, these are kind of two of the odder things that I ordered. Ordered these two Mickey phones. These are two separate. I think they're the exact same phone. I'm not 100% sure. Nope. Then we got some Pokemon VHS. Hey you Pikachu, that's super cool. And then I don't actually remember ordering this. It's a computer game, but it's Pokemon. I'm not really sure. Over here, uh, we got a PS4, we got some controllers. It is a Spider-Man controller, which is nice. Got a bunch of PlayStation games, a bunch of Xbox games. I've been really surprised there's not many Xboxes in this order, but I know the first order there was. But this is kind of where it gets a little crazy. Here's the Wii games. There's some really good ones in there. We moved the GameCube into here. These are cartridge games. These are accessories for consoles. And then this is what's crazy is how many Wii's are in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's 16 here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 21 Wii's, two GameCubes in there. Also, this is really weird. I'm not sure what happened. Someone decided to destroy their GameCube, but it's got these like weird punctures on it. I'll probably have to order a Jewel, a uh, replacement Jewel off of eBay. My wife's vacuuming, so hopefully you can't hear that too much, but I'm probably gonna clean up and call it a day because that was truly exhausting and we still have a lot of boxes to go. All right, so we're back. We made a pretty good dent, but we still have a lot to go. We have those two boxes, those two. I don't know about that one. All of those, probably that one. Over here we got two, three, four, five, Maybe that one, maybe a couple of those. That one, that one, that one, that one, those, that one, that one. Basically all of these, all of those, all of those. And then a majority of those, so we got a lot. There's so many boxes. I know this is the right move, but this is gonna take forever. It took me forever to break down the boxes. I actually had to go to a recycling center instead. Actually, it didn't take that long to break down the boxes. It was more of like, had to break them down, had to figure out what's going in the trash, had to go what's going in the recycling, all of that, and then I had to actually go to the recycling center, so. Oh, boo hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is the right move, but it is a lot more labor intensive than just if I was gonna do one box at a time, but this is gonna save me a lot of space. So it's been about an hour. I have made pretty good headway, honestly. I'll show you all what the storage area looks like. It's looking good. It's making me feel a lot better about this decision. So we cleared out all of this. Those are full. And then this whole shelving unit is just about empty. Everything that's left on it is not Goodwill. It looks like there is like one random Goodwill box. This is a return. This is actually Goodwill. So we'll grab that in a little bit. This one's just about empty. That's still got a lot of stuff on it. I have not touched any of these over here, but I think that's gonna be the plan is like leave this for the end. My plan with how I'm gonna organize consoles and everything, I'm just gonna start over here so that I can free up some bins. Uh, Cause we got a lot of games, a lot of consoles. This round, there was not a lot of Nintendo. So I think I only added like maybe one or two Wii's. So not that much. There was a lot of Xbox and PlayStation. This bin was empty, now it's full. Actually, I think it had these two. Those two were in there. These three were in here, so I got two more PS4s, two PS3s, a PS2, a lot of accessories. And then this bin, I think this bin was kind of getting close to being full. And then we started filling up that one, and then obviously this is overflowing. 
I think we only had one Xbox console. That is no longer the case. We have several 360s. Uh, actually, I think we had an Xbox One and maybe an Xbox 360. I don't remember. A lot more games, ton of accessories. Uh, it looks like two original Xboxes, so. Making some good headway, a lot of cool stuff. We do have some more uh, eBay type items. So we got another Mickey phone. I, I don't know why I ordered those. I think they're cool. They are a lot bigger than I realized, uh, but they're cool. But we got several Funkos. I think these are ones that I just ordered because they look like they'd be easy to flip. Uh, we got some Polaroids. There's a another camera over there. But we're gonna get those listed here soon. And then I'm gonna take a break, probably eat lunch, and then I might be done opening for the day. I might open some later, we'll see. But video's gonna keep going until we get through all the boxes. So stay tuned. All right, day whatever. We're gonna keep opening boxes. Uh, we are making headway. I think I gave you all a little bit of an update. It is looking a lot better. And then I've already started to fill it. <laughs> uh, these are all dead consoles, so there's something wrong with all of these. So this is gonna be a good move because if those were in a Goodwill box, that'd probably be literally like, so I think there was eight consoles over there. It'd probably be like three or four of these. But back to opening boxes like a mad person. All right, new shirt. So it's gotta be a new day. Uh, we're gonna continue going through. Uh, we're getting closer. I do have a little bit of an update. So I had a plan and it's still gonna be the plan eventually, but it might change in the short term. Like I mentioned, you can see the shelves are looking really empty over here, which is fantastic. So I was gonna create like a section for different consoles, PlayStation, you know, all the different areas for that. Uh, so that was the plan, but we had a drywall guy come out yesterday and he basically told me that we're gonna have to almost empty the basement for him to drywall for 10 days. Don't love that timeline. And with that, that means it may not be worth my time to try and organize it completely under the shelves. I'm not sure, we're gonna have to figure that out. We're gonna continue opening. I think getting the stuff out of the boxes is key right now to getting my inventory to not look as crazy. I guess we're gonna start opening some more boxes. I think I got it to a spot that I want. Uh, show you what that looks like. But we're gonna go ahead and start moving the consoles from the bins to the shelves. I do think I'm gonna go ahead and do it for right now. Uh, we'll see how I feel about it once we have to move a lot of this stuff to get the drywall up. And then it'll give me an idea of how I want this to look in the future. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting it all over here. We got two shelves, two shelves, two shelves and then two more right there. We'll move these two boxes, but I think this is a good starting point. So one of these sections will be Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, but then it'll open up some bins so I can keep putting games there, but I think this is gonna look good. I was doing some thinking and I wanted to have a full shelving unit for each system. So I cleaned off this one real quick. One, two, three spots. This one's empty, three spots. That one's empty, three spots. And then I put the broken consoles over here. Uh, I think putting them, the broken ones, in a place that it's not a big deal if they get overlooked because they need to be fixed or they need to be sold. But I think that's a good way. So then we have a shelving unit for each one. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on there. All right, so I think this looks awesome. Wii's, uh, GameCube, Wii Box, Wii U's, 
N64, Super Nintendo, Classics, I guess, Game Boys. I don't know that those are gonna stay there, but that's where they are for right now. PS2, PS1, PS4, Box PS3, PS3s, uh, 360s, original Xboxes, and Xbox Ones. So, there's still quite a few consoles that don't have a spot right now, but this is the majority of what we have. So, gonna keep opening, but we have bins open now, so I can keep opening, but I think the shelves look awesome.